Uh-oh, it's that time again. B, D, C. B, D, C. B, D, C. Hey, what up, what up, what up, what up? What's going on, everyone, everywhere? B, D, C here, back for another video presentation. All right, so what's popping, y'all? What's popping? Like, I haven't dropped a video in a little while. A little while. It ain't been that long. But, um, yeah, so, um, I'm over here. Okay, let me tell y'all what's going on, right? So, I do hats as well, right? I do hats. If you've ever checked out my, my, uh, essay shop, you've seen that I also do hats. Okay, if you have not, please do go by and check it out. You know what I'm saying? You might see something you like, you know, um, throughout this week, I will be, uh, upgrading updating my shop and i will be um integrating other things into my shop um such as stickers downloadable uh pngs so that people can press it to their press my some of my designs not all of them but some of my designs i will be um making them into digital downloads for people that you know i don't know maybe you like the design and you you really can't afford to get the shirt you know so but you want to download it. Hey, listen. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm also, I'm working on some new hat designs I'm going to be doing and putting into the shop as well. Like this one. Now, this right here. These are what are called the new. Not new, new. But these are the uh, new style crowns. Okay? They're baseball cap crowns. Okay? As you see, they have the uh, onk, the onk, and everything on them. Some of them will be different, okay? They're also going to have uh, the stones, okay? I'm going to have the chakra stones on there, okay? Some of them will be different, but I'm getting rid of the green. You see the green here? See the green here? I'm getting rid of the green on the bottom of the bill. So what I'll be doing is put that back. Hold on. Oh. Almost knocked over my juice. Let me take a little sip on that note. <sighs> cool and refreshing. Okay. Now. Oh, wait a minute. Well, I can just show y'all right here. So, I'll be using for this project 3G Jet OPEC. Okay? Uh, yeah, 3G, what is that? Uh, Jet OPEC. 3G heat transfer paper. Okay? I'm going to be making a template for a brim or visor as it's also known as, okay? So I will be making templates for baseball hat brims, like this one that I already made. But the problem with this one is that this is too round. It's too rounded, okay? It's perfect. Everything came out perfect. I got the whole picture in here with all of the um, hieroglyphs just as I wanted it to, okay? Um, but it's too round, so it didn't fit. These brims on these hats are sort of squared, you know, rounded at the tip, but more squared than round, okay? So, I, I searched and searched here on YouTube for a video on how to create a baseball cap brim template. I found nothing, okay? Nothing. I found several videos on how to create... Uh, templates for several different things like mugs, uh, you know, various things, but nothing for a baseball hat brim. So, after searching and searching, finding nothing, I said, you know what, let me just take my skills and take what I already know and just go ahead and try to make my own uh, template, right? And that's what I did. And then I said, you know what, let me record this because I'm sure somebody else out there, just like myself, has probably tried to find a video on how to create a template 
for a baseball hat brim and found nothing. So I'm sure a video like this would help somebody out significantly. Okay, at least that's what my, you know, modus operandi is. I'm hoping, you know, th that this will help someone. So, on that note, let's get into it. Okay, so this right here you're looking at, I was just working on, I just got to uh, cutting out a little leprechaun and pressing them onto one of my shirts that I was doing for uh, St. Patty's Day. This is St. Patty's Day, not St. Patty's Day yet. Uh, St. Patty's Day is on the 17th, but... You know, for people in this business, we've already started making our St. Patty's Day designs and, you know, selling our St. Patty's Day merchandise. I myself started kind of late, okay? But, nonetheless, it's better late than never, okay? So don't judge me. Nah. <laughs> but anyway, how y'all doing out there? Okay, so let me go ahead and just open up a brand new page. Click on this one because I didn't use it. Page setup, okay, I got my Cameo, I got my 12 by 12 cutting mat. My media size is 8.5 by 11, okay, that is the size of the uh, heat transfer paper I'll be using, as I showed you. So I'm going to come over here to File. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to File. I'm going to go to Open. And I'm going to come into my file, and I'm going to, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. What did I name it? What did I name it? Let me find the file that I'm looking for, the picture I'm looking for. So once you find the image that you want, simply click on it. Click OK. Upload it. All right. So now, this is an image that I found on Google. Um, it, uh, actually, I searched on Google, and it took me to Adobe Stock. And I have an Adobe account, so I just went ahead and I just downloaded this. Now, you can uh, download the uh, copy, uh, what they call it, a preview. You can download a preview copy, and as you see, it will come with a watermark. You see the Adobe Stock watermark is embedded here in the middle. Or you can pay for it. Well, of course, I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so, yeah. You can come and download this preview just like this. And I'm not worried about this because we can already strip this whole thing and we can already take it all apart. Okay? Because uh, I only need this right here. The brim, as I told y'all. Visor. Right? So, first thing you want to do is, let me just move this over a little bit. Even though we don't really have to. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the right side of my panel. Okay, and I'm going to go down one, two, three, four, five. They, some people say it looks like a piece of bread, a butterfly, a burnt piece of toast, if you ask me. But anyway, we come down and we click on Trace Panel. Okay, and then come over here and simply click Select Trace Area. Come over here, right to the edge of the image, and let's just highlight the whole thing. Okay. And then, now what we can do is, because I need all of this to be highlighted, right? I need it all to be highlighted, every line and everything, because we're going to take it apart, like I said. So I'm going to come over here to threshold, and I'm going to turn my threshold up. Not that much. Okay. Right there is good. 86. Uh, matter of fact, I can come down just a pinch more. Okay, that's good. That's good right there. And then what you want to do is click Trace and Detach. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's doing it. Okay, so once it's done that, we're going to simply take this, move this on out of the way here, right? And we can just click on it, and on your keyboard, simply click delete. We we'll don't need that no more, okay? And then I'm going to take the visor, which is what I do need, and I'm going to move it on over here to the side. And then I'm going to take all of this, highlight all of it, select it all, and hit, simply hit delete on the keyboard again. 
Delete. Okay. And now we're going to take this visor. I'm going to bring it on over here to the center. And I am going to resize the visor. Now, when I measured the visor, which was a few days ago when I first um, went to do it, but I never finished it. Okay. Um, so, what size was that visor? It was... The length was seven, and that was the width. And the length was like four. What was it? You know what? Hold on. I think I got to go measure it again. I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I've done that, let's come over here. Let's select. Select your uh, brim. Come over here to the right side of the panel again, and let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine down, and this is the transform panel. Click on it, and come over here to the uh, arrow, the long arrow with the two arrow points at, the at each end. Click on that. Let's open up our dimension box for width and height. And what did I say the width was? Okay, the width is 7. So I'm going to just take this on out, make that a 7. Okay, and for my height, I'm going to, I would say it's about a 4.5. So that will be 4.5. So we'll take this out, and I'll make this 4.5. Okay, and then I'll just go ahead and click Apply. boom and there we go okay now i can click off of this and now what you want to do is you want to come over here to file you want to go to merge because i'm going to bring in another image it's going to be the image that i'm going to and uh put on here put on the brim okay but remember don't click open because see all that open is going to do is open is just going to open a whole new page setup so you always want to remember to click merge because you already got one image, so you're merging in another image. Okay? Okay. 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 All right. So we'll click merge. Okay. And then I'm going to come here. I'm going to come here. I'm going to pick uh, what I want. Okay. Let me see. It's not in this folder. So let me go ahead to the folder and pick what I want. All right. Wait for it. There we go. Okay. Now, size doesn't really matter. Okay, let me just click on it. Let me bring it over here off the screen. But you know what? Because it's so big, I'm just going to go ahead and take it by the ends. And I'm just going to bring it down. Just make it a little smaller right there. Okay, that's cool. And let's just bring it up. And then what you want to do is, now what you want to do is, let me click off of this. Click on your brim. Select your brim. And with your brim selected, the brim is, the, this is our template. With the brim template selected, hold control on your keyboard. Okay? And then you see our pointer has turned into what looks like a pencil. Simply come over to your image that you want to press print onto your uh, 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 template and just click on it. See, there we go. But hold up. Mm -mm. That's not really what I want. I, don't, I mean, you know, Heru, the Falcon, is fine, but I really want all those hieroglyphs like I had it on the other one. See, the other one just was perfect. It just wasn't the right size. So let me see. Let's try something else here. Maybe if I let's go back. I'm gonna click undo. Click it again. What? Where did that come from? Y'all see that? <laughs> oh well, I don't know where this came from, but anywho, we just gonna um, paste over that, okay? So, again, let me click on the brim, okay, and let's try this again. Maybe if I, let me hold down control on the keyboard, see point to change into a pencil. Maybe if I click on the area that I want, 
Let's try that. Like, let me see. I think I want, like, right about here. Nope. Gave us the Falcon Herald again. All right. So, you know what? Mm, let me go back. Let's go undo. Okay. So, you know what I'm going to do? Now, there's another method. I'm pretty sure this will work as well. This is the method that we use when we're trying to put the, uh, what is it, image in text. So, I'm going to try that. Okay. So, I will take, I'm going to take, um, let me see. How I go? I got to do it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take this. I'm going to bring this over here, put it on the mat, okay, I'm going to size it out a little bit, bring it out a little bit more, scale it up, make it a little bigger, okay, so it can cover the entire brim, that's good, okay, and then I'm going to right click on it, and I am going to send that to send it to the back, now, now I'm going to see my brim. I'm going to put my brim exactly where I want it. Uh, let's see. Okay, right there. I think that's good because I think right there I'll get a little bit of everything that I want. Right there. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to see. Let's see how it looks. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these. Okay. We take both of these, select both of them. Okay. And then I'm going to come over here to our right side of the panel again. And I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Come down to our, what's this called again? Hover over it. Let me see what it's called. Mm, it's not popping up. Okay, anyway, just click on it. It looks like a, a rectangle with a circle around it. This is called the modify box. That's it, modify box. And then I'm just going to simply come over here, and I'm going to click crop. And bam, there we go. So now I got my brim template, right? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and, no, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to page setup. Right? I'm going to come to page setup. Okay? And click off of it. Come to page setup. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn on my registration marks. God, I hate registration marks. Y'all don't know the agony I go through with these registration marks. Why must we have them? Please, somebody, please do something. Please, somebody, go and talk to them people over there at Silhouette of America. Cameo and tell them we don't want them. We don't need them. Why? It's just so cruel. Cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> Yo, I, I hate registration marks. I do, man. I do because I swear I go through so much with them registration marks. And it's not like I don't know how to set it up. I know how to set it up. I know where the no zone area is. But even when you set up everything right and you go to send it through your cameo, it, it spits it back out. And you see on your screen, registration failed. Whenever you see that, let me tell you something. Whenever you send it to your cameo and it pops up at the bottom, it don't. And if it don't say cutting right off the bat and, and it says registering, it ain't going to cut. Chances are it ain't going to cut. You know what I'm saying? Chances are it's not going to cut. I just can't stand it. But anywho, enough of my belly aching. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn on these horrible registration marks because I need them. So I'm going to cut the registration marks on... And, uh, okay, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on this again. And what I'm going to do with this, because right now, this would be right on the tip. I can move it, but I only want to play close around this area. You feel what I'm saying? I don't even like to mess with none of this. This whole area right here, let me see. Click on my page setup. Show print border. So this is my print border over here, the gray right here. And this is our 
uh, cut border, the red line. I don't like to mess with none of that. I try to stay away from all of that. Okay, so I'm just going to come and I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn it. Turn it. Slow down, baby. Right there. Keep it right in the middle. And see, this look like I'm in a nice safe zone. Don't it? Don't it look like I'm in a safe zone? Now, watch what happened when I go to send it to the cameo and cut it. I'm trying to tell you, man. It ain't just me. <laughs> All right. But anyway, um, so yeah. Here you go right here. So cut your registration marks on because we're using heat transfer paper. So we need it. Okay. If we was using vinyl, we wouldn't need the registration marks. Oh, thank God. But unfortunately, we're using heat transfer paper. So we need them. Okay. So I've got it right here in the middle. Stay away from all of this, y'all. Just stay away from it. Don't go net. Okay? So now I got all of that set up like that. Okay? Next thing I'm going to do is uh, show cut border. Blah, blah, blah. That's good. Okay? I don't even really need the cut border. I can turn that off as long as I got my print border on because we printing this. Okay? Yeah, as long as I got my print border on, I don't really need the cut border. So I'm good right there. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here back to the right side panel and go down one, two, three, four, five. Back to the trace panel. Click on it. Click select trace area. And I'm going to trace this. Come right here. And just trace it. Okay, we want to trace this whole thing, so we're just going to turn this threshold all the way up. Bam! Just like that. There you go. 100. And then just come right here, and you know what? I'm just going to click on Trace Outer Edge. Okay, boom. So you got your trace area. You see the red line around there letting you know that it's been traced. So now we got this traced. So now we are ready to send to the cameo, and um, I will meet you guys back at the sweat box, okay? And we will size it up to the brim, and we will go ahead and we will press it onto the brim of the hat, okay? So stay tuned for the part next part, where, which will be being done from my phone, okay? Right now I'm on my PC, as you see. But part two of this video will be done from my phone, so stay tuned for the second part, okay? Thank y'all for watching. Be right back.